Hello everyone, welcome back to some more FNAF movie news. This is an unbelievable amount of news to cover, so let's just get started. Here we go. So first off, we got a new listing for an untitled Finance of Freddy Security Breach project has appeared on IMDB Pro. The listing confirms the project to be a TV series with returning voice actors for the Glamrock animatronics, directed by Steel Wolf. It's possible this is simply a second cartoon series set to debut with the new Security Breach TV teasers this month for Ruin. Now for some casting news, according to INDB Pro, BAFTA winning composer Jason Graves has joined the crew of Blumhouse's production. He's known for helping out with music in titles such as Dead Space, Until Dawn, and Tomb Raider. Now for some more casting news, according to IMDB Pro, Lynn Moncrief has been added to the production of the FNAF movie as cinematography. He has worked on some of Blumhouse's films in the past, so I'm definitely excited to see that. Now for the last bit of casting news, as per IMDB Pro again, Eric, oh, I don't know how to say our last name, has been added to the cast of the FNAF movie as part of the stunt team. He is at Utility Stunts. So Daco, Raz, Baz, and A.P. Ryan have uploaded their video sharing their experience on the set of the Five Nights at Freddy's movie. They all highly praise the set of the pizzeria, including the kitchen, the core four animatronics, and the cast slash crew. More footage from their visits will be posted closer to the film's release date. Okay, so for this part of the video, there's just like a ton of news left, so I'm just gonna speedrun and read through all of it. You guys ready? Here we go. According to Daco, the animatronics are very animated and have a lot of movement to them. We know Jim Henson's Creature Shop has done a fantastic job, but this just makes us much more excited. The animatronics are very expressive, more so than Daco thought they'd be. Real animatronics are being used in addition to costumes. The animatronics are very accurate to the games. The show stage looks identical to the one in FNAF 1, and apparently there's also a show stage button just like how there was in Help Wanted. Tables and chairs move around. This just means that they won't be staying in the same spot for the whole movie, and for some reason they'll be moved around differently in some scenes. Not big news by any means, but it's interesting info to know. The prize counter is also confirmed, with plushies too. They got arcade machines that seem generic, and some areas are straight lifted from the books in FNAF 2. Apparently there's a kitchen, hallways, bathroom, supply closet, and parts and service room. There's also a very cool scene involving the parts and service room, so I'm definitely excited to see that. The office is the most accurate set. The celebrate poster, the fan, the cameras, something is slightly changed though. The cameras are important to the plot, being used quite heavily in the film. And the show stage lights are very important to certain shots, being used to make the animatronics look more scary and threatening. Raz says that the story is very satisfying. Obviously it's changed, but it's the same story you know and love, but it has been altered. The cameras and doors are important to the plot, being used quite heavily in the film. Mike and Vanessa have some scenes together. One is apparently very important. Mike's storyline and arc is very emotional. Raz describes Abby's character as a light-hearted, vulnerable character and will blow us away. Vanessa is used very well in the film and has a strong emotional arc. Freddy apparently lip syncs at some point. There is apparently a lot of easter eggs from all the games, the lore, and some of the books in the franchise. Apparently Blumhouse is planning a huge reveal for the animatronics. And later on, they will be allowed to show us behind the scenes footage, nearer to the trailer and the release date of the film though, obviously. So that's all the news I was able to find for now. I know it's a lot and I hope you guys enjoyed. Thanks for watching and uh, make sure to subscribe. Bye.